about his work and how he's inspired to create all this. And also he's faculty here at the college, so I know a lot of his students are here waiting to hear um, maybe more about how he, I mean, works in so many different mediums. So Dana, come, come talk to us. Okay. Bravo! You know, um, I, uh, I don't have anything I plan to say. You know, I never plan anything out. It's, it doesn't work with the artwork a whole lot either. Hold you the know, microphone um, a little closer. Get closer. Get Hello. Closer. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, I wanted to say that uh, um, I just, um, every, you know, I was uh, fortunate enough to find something when I was young that I love to do. And um, the, uh, the, the side of me that's... Uh, <clears throat> side of me that uh, is um, bad, you know, um, dug into it then and hasn't let go so much since. So I'm, I'm, I'm able to do more or less creative things every day rather than destructive ones, you know. And um, I, I think it's because of nature and the beauty of nature in the way that, um, you know, um, even like uh, butterfly wings or uh, butterfly wings with other little animals on them, you know, that say, for example, there's a there's there's a um, there's a butterfly that has uh, ladybugs all over its back because the bird that eats that butterfly doesn't like the taste of ladybugs, you know. And so those pictures um, are are nature's paintings, like in themselves. I've always seen it like that, like you know. It's weird. I guess that's uh, everyone sees it differently. But what I want to say is, if you have something that you can put everything into, um, the energy created by you know your own force and the vacuum of that act will allow you to um, you know, do something meaningful and, and something that's truly addictive, that's good, you know? Because this world is a, a difficult place, for sure, to say the least. And uh, if you have something like that, it's a lot better, a lot better target than someone else. And um, that's, I think, always the case. It, it, it applies um, breaks and, and it gives, like, a buffer to everything. So I just have to stress, like, when my, you know, when people come and and they do that class with me, and we work on um, projects like drawings, you know, pointillism or, or something like that. Then, um, then they, um, they they can they can apply themselves in a way that they they don't have to necessarily, um, you know, be told to or be too serious or any of that other stuff. You know, it's, it's just it's just that life goes so fast, and uh, I guess you know I try to keep up with it, and I try to work as much as I can because. Uh, other than that, it's, it's a lot, it's just a lot of uh, uh, folly, you know. Um, but uh, the, 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 the paintings really don't have any kind of um, style or theme, I don't think, because um, things themselves have different ways of uh, being seen by us, you know. So it's uh, like right now, all of you are looking at me. It's <laughs> 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 pretty weird. But I know that you're all just one big creature, so if I, if I don't do anything like that, then you guys just get me. They are, it's a monster. I should paint this next. Well, I, you know, honestly, I hope you get something from it that's good. I hope you're inspired to do something. It doesn't matter um, what a person does. Um, I just believe that if we can, if we find what truly is, is something that we're that we love to do and that we're good at, I think you should do it all the time. All the time. Because once you start there, then you realize there isn't enough time, you know, for, for anything that's great. Um, I know we weren't put here to kill time. That's not the case. But sometimes it seems like killing time till you get to where you're going, and that's probably the hardest part. You know, some of us are fortunate, and we have our jobs, that's what we do, and, and others, they do that, and they wonder what they're supposed to do. But if you just take one step forward, you'll get two taken for you if you try. It's a, a good thing to do, I think, is um, to find something, because otherwise you're swept away by dirty shepherds, and there's so many, with, and they have so much charisma, you know, but then you're left with nothing, you know. So, that's, uh, but, um, you know, other than that, uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, does anyone have questions? Yeah, today? any questions, I can, I can answer. Can you explain the St. Francis Oh, that tree, that, the, the yeah. one about the tree is, uh, it's this big painting, um, I can, I should point it out because, um, yes. yeah, I can just show you. <laughs> that is a combination of being by yourself, but not being in a room, you know. If, uh, when you go out in the wilderness, 
it's just a giant, it's really where we're at, you know, but these little rooms we get in sometimes I think take like a hold of us. And I don't think that's, I don't think that's good, you know, unless you're doing something in that room. And I can't really talk because like most of my life's been spent like at a wall painting. So from, a, from an aerial view, it looks like I ain't doing anything. You know, I'm just standing in one spot. But when I go out in the woods, sometimes I do see things that um, inspire these. These are all inspired by uh, walking, walking around uh, in the wilderness without um, without anyone without anyone else. And um, you know, that's it. I mean, these things just come to you. They just let you. But this one here was a tree that it, you can see if you stand in at the base of the tree, it goes up to the top, and then um, these um, chambers and everything happening. It's all because there was a a tree where I used to go for these walks over by Thumb Butte and um, this tree had fallen and then stopped in the mid-fall it stopped because that that cord didn't break you know inside it so you've seen them sometimes at angles this one was like halfway every time you look it looks like it's going you know so after seeing it for around a year I guess I one day um, I went up to it and, uh, and 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 I looked at it and everything and I, I, I saw this I, 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 it wasn't a vision, but you can see, if you do something all the time, things like, they kind of help you see things, you know? So, I, I could see how there'd be like this cloak, and um, Da Vinci had drawn this cloak for a, for a saint or um, something like that, you know? And he was wearing this cloak, and I saw the cloak right into the tree. And, and when I was thinking about that, I, I, I saw the tree had, you know, there's a pine cone at the base of it. and. Um, and uh, it was um, such a beautiful design that I knew that if I put itself in itself, it would work, you know. And so I just um, took that pine cone, and to start the painting, I just drew the, you know, the, the, the circles, the chambers on the pine cone, and they go both ways, the circle goes both ways. And then when I looked at it, there were all these little windows for all the animals, you know. And um, he, that's what that was. That's, that's, and, and the tree didn't fall, it just stayed there for a long time, and finally it fell. And um, all the bark that had popped off it, you know, as it had fallen that first time, it made it the, sh the outline of, a, of a, like a monk or a saint, which was also, you know, a reinforcement. You know, if you get pushed around alone by two or three things that other, one, other people would call superstitious, you know, you can be moved to do something that you wouldn't normally do. And that would seem to be sometimes the essence of what you're going to go home and do, you know. So, um, and... and um, that it, it, it captures itself, I guess. Um, I could have put all the animals in. There's weird things that happen when you start paintings like this. Like, you know, if I start with a tree and I got the, this is like um, White Spar Highway, you know? That's, that's Lynx Lake when it was flooding and everything. And, um, and then you get to this puffer fish, you know? So um, I see the puffer fish. <laughs> you, you, know you know where I'm going. If you see the puffer fish, well, that doesn't fit, you know? I made myself put it in. And it seemed to release all, you know, I know that these aren't in Prescott, not where I, not where I live, <laughs> or this. This is here, you know, and that, those kinds of things. But um, it's just like when you're little and you get something that's like out of scale with the rest of the toys, you know, and it's like, those are, those are, um, those are things that, that I think are, give leverage to what we do every day, you know, things like that. But, it, you know, it, it was a pleasure to do. There's, a, there's, a, there's the idea about, I had this idea at the end of it, about this, and this is the one like poisonous cell, maybe a, maybe like a cancer cell in the whole picture. And I had the idea then of putting in the last few things that go in and all fit, and it would be the idea that, you know, since we did this and everything, and it's done all the, the, the you know, the ruining of things, and I thought of these guys as the cavalry, and um, they would be around if we could quell this. And I thought of these flies, that's the eye of a fly, and I thought they'd be the winners if we didn't, you know? And, and then I thought it was a, a race against time, so the last thing I did was I put in the, the tortoise and the hare there. There's the tortoise, there's the hare, and there's the tortoise. And there's things like that in old paintings, too, but no one's around to tell us about it, you know? But that lends some realism to it, I guess, even though it's told in fantasy form. Um, yeah, that's, so that's like one painting, you know. This is uh, the ego with the universe, and this one, this is about the, the, the fact that um, mankind, um, you know, since the dawn of time, has had that weapon, and pretty quick, right after the weapon came the animal, I'm sure, the, the dog and the horse, 
and then he gets what he wants with it, you know? And I don't know if that's the right way, but it seems to be, it, would, it doesn't matter when you're born, it would seem to be, you know? But it seems like bigger things get done when that isn't happening. Um, but that's why I did this, so I've got the ideal, this is how he wants to be, the ego. It wants to look that good all the time, you know? And so right away it's a losing battle. And I put the sword in, and, and, and the horse, I turn this horse into a war horse to show what we're capable of. You know, to make this horse enjoy stomping on people. And, and then at the very end, and this would be the treasure. It could be a woman, that's why there's a torso in there, kinda. It could be another horse, right? Those would probably be the first two choices, too. You know? <laughs> and then, this would be um, the one thing in the universe, and there's, and then there's only one thing that would say, no, don't, it's not that way. But I did that in pointillism to show that it comes and goes, you know? But uh, that's, and that's just about, you know, uh, something like that. And then this is the portrait, this is the portrait of Mother Nature. And um, it just, it was um, uh, just a moment I was thinking, or pretending, I was pretending that this was like a moment in like a second. Like in five seconds it'd be a million different things. It would be a mud, just a big picture of mud, and then a rhino's horn, you know, and then five ostriches. <laughs> but I thought of it also as like, literally her, that's why I called it that, and it would be the, her, that's like her hairdo, those are like her, that's her, like her hair, you know, and then her body comes around. I, I took this picture on Acker Trail, Acker, Acker Park, that's, uh, that's, uh, this is Lynx Lake, that's, um, that's Stump Butte there, um, that's the top of uh, Granite Mountain when the, all the ladybugs are there. Wow. Um, yeah, that's a, good, that's a good time to go there. And then, you know, there's stories here too, and, and this poor possum has to make her way through it all. But she's still there, and she's got all her babies still. But there's really nowhere to go for her. I mean, that's like what life is like a lot, I guess. And, uh, yeah, and, and you tell yourself, you know, you can't listen to anyone else. I know that. If, if they're negative, if they're telling you it can't work, whatever it is, or it's stupid, or, you know, whatever, I, I wouldn't even argue with them, because then you've you got to stick around longer, just don't say <laughs> and, and just go do your thing, because you'll see, if you do, that, that, that what you have in you is bigger than what you think you're bringing in, you know. I stole this from a painting of uh, Prince Philip or something, it was mounted on that horse. You get your ideas from everywhere, you know, just use them. And, um... The more, you know, the, the, you, you do more good by, by doing any of this than you do bad, you know. So, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, and, that's, and, and, you know, that's, I guess they all have, like, stories in them, I guess. I've never done one that didn't, but, you know, they, they, it was pretty obvious, you know. So, yeah, to me, probably. <laughs> it, it, probably half of them would probably be more interesting if you... You know, if I, was, if I was told what they thought they were, but, but I like them to be open like that. You know, it's, it, 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 every, everything is such a miracle, really. I think it's, it's, just, it's like we could have five more minutes, you know. <laughs> you know, but I know that I know that this is all going to end in this way that we know, and um, and uh, there's just no other way to deal with it. It's got to be the absolute beauty that's around the, the inner inner beauty and this the beauty of the struggle that we go through. And when, as you get older too, you know, people we get older, and uh, and, and 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 no one knows about that necessarily now. You got to live large now because I, I think that I think that these are the good old days right now. You know, it seems like every time I look back, where I'm at is worse. You know, so I know that I, I know it, I was in the good old days. I know I was. I just didn't know it. <laughs> yeah. So all that is uh, turned into fuel if you can find something to do and just do it all the time. And uh, thanks a lot for coming here today. Thank yeah. you, Dave. Yeah, I appreciate it.